This video is going to go over your profile and account settings for Schoology. You can find that information on the top right corner where your name is at and click on that for the drop down. You'll see several menu options here and we'll go through each one of them individually. The first one is your profile. Your profile shows anybody within the Schoology platform information about you. Not only your contact information, but if you so choose, you can add a photo, write a short bio, or add your activities and interests to your information. Please be aware that this information is open to anybody within the Schoology platform, including your students. Schoology has a social media aspect to it, where people can request to follow you. And so, with those followers, you can blog to them, as well as show a digital portfolio of the work that you might be doing. The next menu item is a school that you're associated with. Under this option, you have the ability to communicate with every staff member at your site through updates that your administration can post, information about your school site, all the faculty that reside at your school site, resources your school site shares with you, as well as discussions within your school. The third menu item is settings. These are settings for your specific Schoology account. Some of these are not able to be changed and are blocked off, but some of them you do have access to. For example, you have access to the calendar feature. In the previous lesson, we discussed how the calendar can be exported into your Google Calendar. So Schoology can show up in your Google Calendar. The next thing I want to highlight is the home page. If you remember from the previous lesson, we discussed how you have the course dashboard that you can see when you log into Schoology. The course dashboard has tiles of all your courses. Perhaps you want to look at all the activity in your courses instead of just the course tiles. You can change that and select recent activity and be sure whatever it is that you select that you save those changes. The next menu option that we'll discuss is notifications. These are the global email notifications that you'll get to your Gmail inbox. You can select to turn these items on or off, or customize how these notifications are sent to your email. You can see there are several notifications that you can select. Please be sure you select just the important ones because if you turn all of these on, you'll get a lot of emails in your inbox. The next menu option is privacy settings. You can make adjustments to your privacy settings using this tab here. Next tab is transfer history. This is a history of all the changes that you made in Schoology. For example, taking aspects of your courses and sending them and saving them to your resources. The last menu item is the recycle bin. If you create an assignment, for example, in one of your Schoology courses and delete it, you can find those deleted items here in the recycle bin. And if you choose to restore that assignment back into your course, you can select the toggle menu on the right-hand side and restore that item to the course where it came from.